In this clip, I will show you how to use Python's Manimlib package to do fancy little text animations. I received many requests after a video I posted. It's not part of the usual channel, but since everybody wants to know this and I haven't found much on YouTube, I hope this video will help. Before we get into the nitty gritty stuff, let's look at the basic requirements. So you're gonna need Python 3 and you're gonna need to be able to work with virtual environments. That's a good practice anyway, if you don't know how to do that yet. You also need to be comfortable with Python's package managers pip or conda and how to use the command line. I think for Mac users that is less likely to be a problem. And once you're used to using the command line, I think you're going to be uh, using it very frequently because it's a really useful tool. Third, you're going to need homebrew because we need to install something called FFMPEG for the video conversion. And last but not least, because we're using a lot of text, we're going to need LaTeX or on Mac specifically, MacTech. And on this last point here, concerning LaTeX, this actually cost me a day of just being stuck because I didn't have the standard LaTeX installation. I installed LaTeX via Mac ports, yeah, Mac ports, and did not have the necessary dependencies. However, the problem was that the error that I got wouldn't actually tell me that I had the wrong LaTeX installation. Sometimes you need to be a detective and you need to find out what's wrong uh, on your machine. So in my case, I had the wrong LaTeX installation and it caused me a lot of trouble. So if you're a Mac user, just use the normal MacTech installation and make sure you don't have any other LaTeX installations on your machine that interfere with the standard setup, okay? So let's head over to my computer screen. So what you can see here is the iTerm terminal and the Z shell on Catalina. If you type now PWD, okay, so this is where I am on my computer. I'm in the directory YouTube tutorial and Pi movie Dropbox, which I created uh, for you. And now I want to check what Python I have on my system. I can type which a Python. And you can see I already have Anaconda 3 installed. Mac actually comes with a built-in Python, but that's not what we want to use. We want to use Anaconda. So if you don't have Anaconda yet, yeah, go to anaconda.com. Um, if you Google Anaconda, you'll you get some snake pictures. <laughs> so here, here you can just choose the right one for your operating system. So the latest Python is Python 3.8. And then you just click through the installation. All right, I already done all of this. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a new environment. Um, so I'm going to show you which environment I already have. So Conda environment list. Aha, so I have a Manum 3.6, which is the one I use normally for my videos. And I also have a Pi 3A Geo. So environments are like separate little Python distributions. So you can have a Python 2 environment or a Python 3.6, a Python 3.8. Each of those uh, environments has its own Python packages. And if you break stuff, you just get rid of the environment and you can start all over again. So I'm going to create a new environment, conda and create, I'm going to call it YouTube tutorial. And I want Python 3.6. Why 3.6? Because I know that the manamlib works with that one. Okay, so and I made a mistake. Uh, conda create, um, here, conda. I'm gonna create in. All right, now you can see all of these packages are gonna be installed. So it's gonna be 
installed here. And I just have to say yes. And if we want to activate this environment, we just say Conda activate. Uh, YouTube. Tutorial. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install Manamlib. Pip install Manamlib. And you can see the last line here successfully installed all these packages, which are dependency of the Manamlib um, package. So we also need uh, something called FF. MPG and we're going to use homebrew for that. If you don't have homebrew, check out another video how to install homebrew. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to do this now. I'm just going to say um, brew, okay, it's brew install FF MPG and I zoomed a little bit too much into the terminal so it's not one line um, but if we, I do that and it tells me that I already have this installed. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and use the manim command. Okay, so what you need to do now is you head over to the GitHub repository. So we need an example, right, um, to create a scene. So let's go to three blue, one brown uh, manim repository. You can download the entire repo. You can see here there's a little instruction how to download this, if my video didn't help you. Um, so what I want actually is example scenes.py here. So we're gonna need um, this code. So this is um, you know a bunch of different classes. It's object-oriented programming. Um, so I'm gonna copy all of this. Okay, I'm gonna copy all of this, and I'm gonna copy it into uh, my text editor. Uh, you can use any text editor, but um, I'm using Sublime. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to copy everything in it. Okay, so this is the example scenes file. So I'm going to give this a name. You can give it any name you want, okay? So I'm just going to name it now by um, intro, intro.py, okay? All right, um, and then I want to create a scene. Okay, so I'm going to create this opening manum example scene, which is going to give you some text, yeah, some LaTeX text, and some uh, transformations. So let's, let's go back to the terminal. And all I need to do now is I'm going to have to type manum, and then I'm going to tell the terminal use intro.py. And then I give the scene, which is opening manim example. Okay, opening manim example. And at the end, I just say P. Okay, let's see what happens. Aha, so you can say, you can see media will be written. It shows you that uh, LaTeX is created, and we can see this progress bar here. So yay, looks like we got it working. And what will happen is it will actually open up the video for us once it's done. So obviously how to go and manipulate the scenes is another story. So ideally uh, you know a little bit about Python object-oriented programming. Um, but you can get into it, like there's there's lots of great Python tutorials on YouTube. I just wanted to show you how to set this up. Um, yeah, it's still busy. Let's see what the output looks like. Ah, and there you have it. Uh, 10 animations and it's going to open up this cool animation of a grit and a non-linear transformation. <laughs> Thank you.
yeah so before we, I stop the video I just want to show you in my finder so in the directory YouTube tutorial I now have this media directory where the video is uh, located yeah if I click on video you can see the scene is here opening man an example yeah, so each scene you create it's gonna uh, put in there all right and that's it I hope it helped let me know what you think and happy coding and video creating tschüss